This is Ned McAllister, and he's risking his life to clean this window. He's two feet away from a deadly African rock python. If it was to get a hold of me, it would hold on tight, and it would start to try to coil me. And that's a situation I definitely don't want to happen. But don't worry about Ned. If the snake bites him, he's got an American Express. What I can do is reach into my back pocket and grab a credit card and use a credit card to push underneath the jaw and try to dislodge the teeth. Ned is the man behind Snake Alley at the Steinhardt Aquarium. This is a Suriname red tail boa from South America. Why would anyone want to be this close to these terrifying creatures? It goes way back to early childhood and, you know, possibly growing up in an area near some woods and near a creek. Uh, and just, you know, to a young child to, to look at something moving around like this and realize that it's a, it's a conscious creature. It's something that we share the world with. Reptiles are his passion. Just really incredible coloration on the tail. This bright red. This is probably about an eight, uh, seven or eight foot snake. This is an albino Burmese python. People are just amazed at the coloration, this beautiful lemon. It's a big year for Ned in the aquarium. They are the only ones in the world to display this snake. Yeah, it looks like a boring old tree branch, but look closer. There are 16 snakes in there, long, skinny, perfectly camouflaged. Oftentimes you can't tell the difference between the root, the stem of the plant, and the actual snake. That's why they're called vine snakes. And if you think that is cool, check this out. These snakes are so exclusive that when they arrived here, Ned and the other experts had no idea what to feed them. We tried lizards, we tried worms, we tried frogs, uh, we tried uh, insects. Turns out they eat live guppies. And wait till you see how. They hunt like no other snake. They fish. Disguised as vines, they dangle from the branches and bammo! Pluck a guppy right out of the water. To catch them from up above is something we never expected. Like lightning bolts, one after another, they rarely miss. Whoa, there goes one. You wouldn't think these little guys have any survival skills. Believe it or not, guppies are smart enough to be able to learn that if they hide at the bottom, they are safe. They might have fooled their predator, but no guppy is going to outsmart Ned. He just puts a little temptation on the surface. They take the risk, they come up to the surface to get something to eat, and uh, that's where the snakes will take advantage of that fatal flaw. Yep, Ned loves his job and wants you to come see his cool snakes. From Snake Alley in San Francisco, Gabriel Slate, Cron 4 News.